Hi, my name is Doug Riss, and today I'm going to show you how to find diamonds in Minecraft rather quickly. So I'm going to create a new world. You can call it whatever you want. You can make whatever seed you want. Uh, I'm actually not even going to use a seed because, you know, first thing you want to do is you want to find the lowest part of a valley. Uh, not really important. It's just, you know, nice. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to face west. That's the negative uh, Z coordinate. Uh, next you want to make a square such like this out of wooden planks and then fill off each corner with another one. You need about eight wooden planks in total. And now you need eight stairs, eight wooden stairs to be specific. Uh, arrange them like this around the border. Fill it in. Makes it look a little nicer. Next you want to get some diorite, I think it is, or Doritos, whatever. And then um, you want to make a one by three pillar on each of the corners. And then, I'm just gonna jump up. Then you want to put down a helper block or something. Um, and then fill in the surrounding area and make a roof. Like that. Next, you want to get 16 fences and place them like this, fill in the walls. Do all of the walls except for the front one, you're going to leave it open for now. You're going to find a pig, a, or a sheep, it doesn't help, but a pig is recommended. Uh, lure it back to the structure, and trick it to go inside. What you can do is you can walk in, and if it doesn't go in all the way, just get behind it and push it. And then you want to fill in the final wall around it to complete the wall of fences. Next you want to make uh, flint and steel, it's kind of crucial, and then you're going to wait for a new moon to rise. Uh, once the new moon is rising, you're going to stand on the eastern wall of your structure. And you want to fill uh, each one of the uh, inventory slots with six pieces of coal. And then at exactly midnight, you're going to set fire to the altar to ensure that the crops are bountiful next year. And that when the Dark Lord rises, he spares your you're gonna need a pickaxe of any type, really. Uh, a furnace, workbench, some wood. Any amount of wood is really good. You just need enough to make some sticks um, in case you break some pickaxes or need more torches. You're gonna need coal, some amount of coal. Not a lot, because you're gonna find a lot of it and some food. Unless, of course, you're like building a town, you don't need it. And it's really helpful to bring a bed. Like, really helpful. So next you want to find uh, an area to start and dig a 2x1 trench and stand directly on the line. This is called uh, safety mining. And so like if you dig down you won't fall forever, or if you fall into a pit rather. Now I'm just going to dig you know, straight down to bedrock because I don't really care. This is a tutorial. And you want to get to about layer 12 in the Y coordinate. Um, to check this, you can hit F3 and check your Y coordinate and the thing. And then you're going to clear out a little area, give yourself some breathing room, and set up a little uh, base. Uh, I forgot to make torches, so I'm just going to do that real quick. You're going to bring a lot of them with you. And next, this part's kind of uh, important. So you want to dig a 3x1 tunnel starting at layer 12. So the ceiling will cover 16, tunnels will cover 15 through 13, and the floor will cover layer 12. So eventually you're going to come to a crevice, or you might actually run into a diamond yourself, uh, just in the tunnel. But uh, once you reach one of these, this is usually a good spot to find them. You'll find things like emeralds, and coal, and iron, and sometimes even gold, and diamonds. There you go. Now what I do is I usually clear out the area to make sure I don't fall in while I'm working. I also make a little border around to make sure that there's no lava seeping in while I'm digging. And it's also important to check next to and underneath the lava so when you mine it, it doesn't break out. Lava's a dickhead, so sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. But once you can ensure that it's safe to mine, I usually start digging away. And congratulations, you've found diamonds in... I think this took me five minutes to find. So all you're gonna do at this point now is to just get home safely, and everything should be good. Fuck, 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 shit!